This is JBLE TV, your place for news on the installation, for service members, and our community. Life is precious. When somebody's gone, did I do the best I can for you? It's the questions that we leave ourselves with. To be the representation of service that one sacrificed, that's what it's all about. That's the hardest thing for people here at Honor Guard. Back in the 1950s, the Air Force had no actual Honor Guard. The first organization was the Air Police Squadron, where they did the ceremonious duties for the nation's capital. In 95, Air Force determined there needs to be a base Honor Guard program. Since then, each base has their air responsibility for those funerals and essentially that representation to gain what it means to be on Honor Guard. For our Honor Guard program at Langley, we just look for the best candidate from the unit period. We have some airmen who volunteer and some airmen who were told, you're going to go to Honor Guard. The first thing they ask, how am I going to get through a funeral? How am I going to do this? You think about emotional stress. That's when you're not in control of your emotions. Here at Honor Guard, we teach them bearing. We teach them what bearing means. It's not necessarily avoiding that stress or that emotion. It's how do you manage it. We challenge them daily with all kind of different memory works, uh, uh, bearing checks, uniform standards, and, and, and how they can adapt. Initially, it's a shell shock. But many airmen feel like I'm in BMT all over again and I don't like it. So we're hard on them. One, two. By day three, they're addicted to it because now they realize what it means to take care of that uniform, what it means to be a team and not a we or an I. Each and every airman, day in and day out, tries their hardest to be better than they were the day before. Some airmen struggle. Naturally, they depend on each other from day one, and they help each other because nobody gets left behind. One, two. A team is a group of individuals bonded together for one goal or one purpose or one mission to make sure we provide those honors that a person who sacrificed years out of their life, whether it was four years or 20 years, and ensuring that that family knows that service is not forgotten. They represent sacrifice. The American flag to us is more than a symbol of our nation. It's a symbol of respect, of dignity, and, and more importantly, of carrying that legacy of service that one sacrifice and gave. Some of the best airmen that they can possibly have in this Air Force are part of our Guard. The training they go through and the hours and the sweat and the fatigue that they bear is not unnoticed. They're reaching peaks they never thought they could reach. It's a bigger perspective of life. Handpicked to serve. Others earn the right for me to wear the uniform. Never will allow my performance to be dictated by the type of ceremony or severity of temperature. Obligated by my oath. I am constantly driven to excel, representing every member, past and present, of the United States Air Force. That Honor Guard charge really, really captures what it means to be an Honor Guardsman and why we are here. The sacrifice, the honor, and the legacy. Why do we do this? Why are we here? Who are we doing it for? We represent those who've served and are serving. Pride to country and to self and to the organization of the Air Force is absolutely non-negotiable. It's all about country and all about the sacrifice and all about the honor that somebody has earned. <laughs>